The number one question on my mind this morning is, should you care about Diablo Immortal? We're going to discuss that in today's video. Let's get it. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, and today we are talking about Diablo Immortal. Grab your coffee or your tea, grab your morning beverage, or, you know, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you to all of my viewers, I appreciate you guys. Sit back, kick up your feet, and let's talk a quick video about Diablo Immortal today. Alright, so, Diablo Immortal should you care before we discuss some things about that um what i would love to wait why oh i see um before we do any of that no cuts straight through um i would like to watch for the first time the trailer for diablo immortal because although i'm interested and hyped about diablo immortal I've never actually watched the trailer. So let's do that together. It's one minute and then we'll talk about some things. Uh, I'm excited to share this with you guys. So let's go. What's at the end of this video? Oh, it just like hovers on this screen for a bit. Okay, we can leave that as the background. All right, so speaking of background, let me give you a little bit of background for myself. I have never played a Diablo game. I never have. My friends in college were playing D2 and they were like, hey, you should play this game. But I was more concerned with StarCraft Mainly StarCraft at the time, a little bit of Warcraft, like the actual Warcraft, not World of Warcraft, the actual Warcraft game. I was pretty into those games. I was just getting into pen and paper role playing games like D&D &D and Shadowrun. Um, and I just never played Diablo, okay? Uh, first of all, I had some misconceptions about what Diablo was, and so maybe you do as well. I thought... Diablo was you playing basically evil characters working for the Dark Forces. And that is literally the opposite of the case, okay? The, the whole game, Diablo, is you're venturing into the demon realm to defeat the demons. And so my perception of the game was completely wrong. So anyway, fast forward however long it took, 10 or 20 years or something crazy, for Diablo 3 to come out, and I was actually interested in playing D3. Um, again, some of my friends played D3, and I was interested to play it, but I did not have the correct console, nor did I have the funds to go purchase that console. And so I, I never got around to playing it. I think it would have been fun. I think I would have liked it but um, I never played it, okay? So, that now that Diablo Immortal is coming out, it does, like, I do have an opportunity to play this game in this game series, right? Uh, one of the best things about Diablo Immortal is that it's gonna be on your phone. As far as I know, this is the first real top-level game of its kind to be on your phone. 
But in addition to that, it will also be on your computer. Similar to RAID, right? You know, the majority of you guys are probably my RAID viewers and you're checking this out as well. And uh, I'm gonna gear videos about Diablo Immortal to my RAID audience. So if you have questions about my comparisons and whatnot, if you're not one of my normal RAID viewers, um, let me know in the comments below. But I would love um, you know, any of you to subscribe to the channel uh, for raid content, for Diablo content, whatever the case might be. So, um, the nice thing about Diablo Immortal, like raid, is that you're going to be able to play it on your computer or on your phone, and everybody's going to be able to interact with each other. I think that, like... Previous games that didn't do that were really stupid. And just being blunt, like, why would you not be able to play with people? Like, why can you only play phone to phone? Why can you only play computer to computer? That makes no sense to me. Maybe it's a programming thing, but if so, step up your game. Because this makes Diablo Immortal, like, really, really um, available and... and it just it's a very positive thing for the game that everybody can play with everybody because that's what we want to do right when we're playing games we want to play with our friends we want to make new friends we want to be able to engage in whatever whatever way we can right we don't want to be gated into this is the only way that you can play right and i think it would be smart if like PlayStation or Xbox or something started doing stuff like this. Okay, yeah, your Xbox game, you can play that on your phone, you can play that on your computer, you can play it on your Xbox. It would be smart. I mean, I'm just saying. All right, so should we care about Diablo Immortal? That's the main topic of this video. And number one, I think that you should care at least a little bit. Okay, because like myself and almost every other raid content creator will be trying Diablo Immortal. Just period, end of story. I know for sure Scratch, Darth, uh, Chosen, and Smiley are a hundred percent playing Diablo Immortal. And I assume we're going to be hearing from almost everybody else they're going to be playing Diablo Immortal. But why? Why? Because, guys, this is the biggest gaming release probably in 10 years, I would say. Or, I would say this is the biggest gaming release since Pokemon Go, okay? For those of you who've been around for a while know that I was really big into Pokemon Go. I played it every single day from launch for the first five years of the game's existence, at which point... Um, they made me mad and stopped caring about the players who've been playing for a long time. Um, so I end up just stopping playing. I play it once in a while now. Uh, if they made some changes, I would definitely go back to playing it. That game was amazing. And it revolutionized the mobile gaming industry, in my opinion, okay? Because it, it had the idea of uh, AR, the idea of um, augmented reality, where you're out in the world, but you're playing your game. Very, very cool concept. Diablo Immortal is going to do that same thing for gaming, where we're combining all of the platforms so everyone can play together. And in addition, Diablo is such a huge franchise, like Pokemon, that tons of people are going to play it. And by tons, I think that we're over 50 million pre-registrations right now. 50, five zero million pre-registrations. That's just the pre-registrations. We will get more registrations when this launches. Uh, I'm recording this on May 15th. And so we have... Um... Well, two weeks and four days like it's it's coming soon less than three weeks away for the launch of this game okay 
and it's going to be immense. I fully expect the servers to not be able to handle the capacity, but if so, that's 100% their fault because they know there's 50 million people who pre-registered and more people who want to play, okay? So, I think that if you are interested in an MMO style game, like an action MMO style game, then yes, you should definitely care about Diablo Immortal. Another reason why you should care about Diablo Immortal is because it is 100% taking people from Raid to that game. Whether we will quit Raid or not, that is, you know, we don't know. Well, it's left to be seen. Some people will definitely quit to play Diablo Immortal. Some people will play both. Some people will play Diablo Immortal and not like it and then go back to Raid. We just don't know what's going to happen, but Diablo Immortal is definitely going to impact Raid. And Polarium, if you're watching this, this video as well, you need to step up your game. I would say, like, the Hydra fixes are going to be, like, the most important thing that you do right now like whatever you do to hydra is drastically going to impact how many people stay with the game or leave that's my opinion you know what happens with forge pass season two will we have one um my thoughts are in my previous video from yesterday um some of you did watch that okay if you are interested in Diablo Immortal, I do have a section for it in my Discord. I would love to be able to play this game with you guys. I know I talked to um, I talked to a couple of my friends who I'm going to be playing Diablo Immortal with. Maybe we will start a clan together. Maybe I will join another clan. I'm not sure. If there's enough of you who are interested in playing Diablo Immortal with me, let me know in my Discord, and we will set up a clan. It will be a good fun, okay? I know there are a couple very excited people, um, but most of you are here for Raid, right? So if you're here for Raid, tell me that in the comments below. I do not expect myself to quit playing Raid. I do not, okay? Just so those of you who made it the 12 minutes into the end of the video here, I don't expect to quit playing Raid, okay? And here's the main reason why. Raid is a turn-based game, okay? Diablo Immortal is not, okay? Typically, for me, in my past, MMOs have been the type of game that I love to play in the summer when I have extra time off of work from teaching, right? Because it requires a healthy amount of time to sit in one place. The thing that I loved about Raid is that you can set your stuff and then go do other stuff. You you have the ability to auto a lot of things. That is not the case in Diablo Immortal. You can't auto a single thing. You are live playing the entire time. Okay? That does make it exciting, but it is completely different. So, um, last but not least, I did start a second channel for Diablo Immortal slash other games that I might want to play, depending on how much I like Diablo Immortal or not. I am going to record my first video or two today about Diablo Immortal, and so if you are interested in that, or please, if you're just a long-time viewer, like, go just subscribe to that channel, and then just ignore the videos if you don't care about them, but I would love to get to a thousand subscribers on that channel before the release, so that, um, you know, we can add some really spicy videos over there and draw in some some views on that channel so if you if you support me please head over there i'll try to put the link in the description and and in a, a pinned comment as well so that you can check out that channel i'm pretty sure i have zero subscribers right now unless people subscribe to that channel when i had no videos um but i just created it like two days ago and so um Please subscribe to that channel. I'm going to go upload some Diablo content over there. I will maybe cover it a little bit, depending on how many views this gets. Um, so if you want to see Diablo content uh, on this channel specifically, let me know in the comments. If you don't, let me know that as well. Um, I care about my viewership here on my main channel for Raid, and so I would love your opinion on this topic Thank you so much for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. More Raid Shadow Legends content as well as Diablo. 
Um, let me know what you want to see. I'll see you guys in the next video.